Hi, I'm Clark on Temptress. I developed this bank manager thing that lets you mix lithium and lead together and take care of all the different battery chemistries. Uh, I think it's cool. Other people think it's cool. There's videos about it. In doing this, I started reviewing batteries, lithium batteries, and I'm reviewing the ones that don't cost like a million dollars, you know? I've been getting requests for me to review a golf cart battery. I've got a really good friend, very personable guy, and he has a golf cart. So um, I'm having the battery sent to him, and later in this video, he's going to show you how he puts it into the golf cart, show you before and after, you know, what he thinks about it. I'm curious to know what it really works like. Here in the pre-video, I'm going to talk about the specifications, um, why I chose this battery to review, because it has some issues that I think are kind of nice. And uh, anyway, just go through it. Remember though, I'll never have actually seen this battery, so this is right from the specifications. Sorry, I love to tear them down and, you know, really know what's inside. Uh, we do what we can do, right? So this battery is based on these cells. I can't pronounce that. These cells have a claim that I haven't seen a lot. They're supposed to be able to produce power at very low temperatures, better than other batteries. They're still going to lose some performance in cold temperatures because chemistry, but they're supposed to be good to 30 below Celsius. And that's really cold. Now, don't go charging your golf cart back up on a cold day because no lithium iron phosphate cell likes to be charged below freezing. But this could be really handy, you know, use your golf cart if you're in a cold place and then either wait for the day to warm up before you charge it or put it in the garage, let it warm up and charge it. I think that's a burden we could probably live with. This battery uses a BMS that I, I quite like. In fact, I'm going to be doing a battery build in a little while. Got all the parts in the forward cabin. It's going to be a waterproof trolling motor battery. Uh, and I chose the same manufacturer of a BMS that they chose for this one. The BMS, of course, is the electronics in the battery that protect the battery. And very often it's a limiting factor in how much battery um, production we can get because they're based on MOSFETs and they get hot. Well, this one apparently is based on a real mechanical contactor, and there's great advantages to that. I use a mechanical contactor with my bank manager for the same reasons. For whatever reasons, it's rated at 200 amps continuous, and that's a lot of power uh, for a golf cart. That will probably hurt your neck. And 400 amps for, you know, 5 to 15 seconds before things go uh, bad there. So it should be all the battery that's needed to get a golf cart up and going. They also did something that I would never do to a normal battery for any other application, but I think in a golf cart it's a great idea. You know, a BMS can run into problems. It can, can overheat, it could be discharged too much, you know, all these little things that can go wrong with it. And since a golf cart battery basically lives right under your seat, they put a buzzer in it. So when it has a problem, it can actually like yell at you saying, hey, dude, I've got a little problem going on. I think that was a clever idea they did. And on top of that, you've got a Bluetooth radio. So you can look in your cell phone. You can tell how much charge you have left, which would be range anxiety protection for me. And also, not a claim they make, but I would, I've used this app. I know what it can do. There's a setting in the app that can say, don't charge me. And that would be good if you were in cold weather so someone doesn't accidentally charge it and ruin the battery. And there's another setting that says, don't discharge me. And for all the batteries that I've looked at that have that feature, it's like, why? You know, why, when wouldn't you want to discharge a battery? I'll tell you why. If you've got a golf cart and you're going to park it someplace that you're a little concerned with someone running off with it, grab your phone, turn off the battery. Unless they have exactly that app, they're not going to be able to turn your battery back on. Andrew's a really clever guy. He's really, really handy. He can fix like anything, but when he has electronics issues, he tends to call me. So I'm not going to ask him to tear the battery down. So we won't be able to see what's inside this battery. But what we will be able to see is how it performs and how it compares to the lead batteries it's replacing. Andrew's going to take care of that for us. I've seen the footage. It's good footage. I do recommend if you're at all thinking this battery, watch all of it. 
because he runs into a little snag in the middle and then solves it later. Anyway, take it away, Andrew. Hey guys, Andrew Bennett here. I am going to do a video on our old crappy cheap golf cart, which has been awesome and a lot of fun. Um, we got this battery, MJBSAN. I'm not sure if that's a pronounceable word, but that's what it is. And we're going to upgrade said golf cart that has currently one year old cheaper standard um, golf cart batteries. And uh, we're gonna upgrade it with this bad boy right here. The uh, 36 volt says 135 amps. So we're gonna see how she does. First, we're gonna do a little bit of a test run on this with the uh, old battery. So we got a full charge here. We're gonna take off and get out to the road here and get to a stop. I got my partner Dave here with me. Hey. <laughs> so Dave, you got the uh, speedometer ready to yeah, go? Yeah, got her. All right, let me get out on the street. I'm gonna go from a dead stop and see what we get up to. We are taking off. This is an old slow cart, so it ain't much. Let's see if we can guess. I don't know if you can see that. We're up to 9, 11, 10. I think our average is going to be 10 miles an hour on this cart, and it only took us a few feet to get up to that. Let me turn around here again. We're in Florida. I wanted to try it up a hill and see how it did, but we're in Florida, and well, we don't have any hills in Florida. All right, test number two. We're gonna test this thing with a little bit of a weight on it. Like I said before, we don't have hills, but we have extra golf cart on a trailer. How about that? Let's go, you ready, Dave? Yep, we're good. Boom, ho oh, ho, whiplash. Don't sue me. All right, what are we up to? You just hold the camera up. All right. And we're up, hitting 10 again. Nine, 10. Uh, seven, nine, seven. 10. We hit 11 a couple times before. I think we only lost, looks like we only lost about a mile an hour and scared some dogs. So let me get you guys a look at the inside of this thing, see what we got here. There, and if you can see, that is our current setup right there. As you can see, um, again, these are about a year old. It's a uh, six, six volt battery, so 36 volts. Um, and they work great. Yep. So we're going to get to swapping this thing out and we'll get some more video of it. Dave's getting the batteries loose, pulling these bad boys out. Should only be a couple minutes. Can't wait to try that battery out. All right, so here's our battery comparison. Check that out. Look at the size difference, just the size alone. The new battery is even shorter. Um, the other system was 36 volts at 100 amps. This one again, 36 volts at 135 amps. So our weight difference is the new battery is right at 75 pounds. These old ones are 63 pounds each. That is huge. That is a 303 pound difference. That's like me and Dave put together. So just the weight difference alone would make up the difference of carrying two extra people on this cart. That's pretty awesome in itself. Not to mention the extra amperage you get. So run time and horsepower or whatever that does to increase it. We're gonna see, you know, things are said, but the proof is in the trailer and the trial. Let's put it in and try her out. So just a quick update. We are dealing with, um, this this new battery is 135 amps the old one the set came to 100 amps both 36 volt though when i tested them the ones the old ones on the golf cart tested at 37.5 volts the new lithium one showed 39.5 volts so two volt difference not going to make anything measurable um, but again, 303 pound weight difference. That's huge. And that makes a difference. Cause I mean, what's a golf cart weigh like 800 pounds normally. So we're good. I got Dave here. Dave's got the speed armor going. We got the trailer behind it and we are 10 already. Well, I know that 15 wasn't right. I think you're, uh, 
Huh. Oh, so the there, 13, yeah, we're not getting a good reading here for some reason. You can feel it's got more power. Let me get turned around. Let's try it the other direction. Let's see. There. 11. Try to recalibrate or something there's something going on with the speedometer because uh, honestly i actually tried this myself before dave was available to hold the uh camera and i was hitting 13 with it so we'll redo it look all right so we uh saw that towing the trailer um once we get the speed is pretty much the same um top end but um you can feel it taking off better, like it had a little more power, and that's again because of the uh, the weight the weight difference. And um, so we're gonna do it now without the uh, trailer behind it. <laughs> Dave's got a little advertisement going on there. All right, so now we're gonna take off. We've got our speedometer going there, Dave. Let's see, we're at whoa, we hit 13 like almost instantly. Seven, 13 well we're, I mean we're 15 it's still bouncing around at the lower speeds these speedometers are not quite that accurate but we're bouncing around at higher numbers than we were before with the other one and again that's just that's just going to be the weight difference I mean the over 300 pound weight difference so and you can feel it actually when our first we first topped in it when I was moving around it actually spun the tires yeah so that, and not just in reverse, but in in forward actually, it spun the tires when I took off first thing. So there was a difference. Um, yeah, it's just not going to be accurate with that no. thing. But you can feel that it's different. You can definitely feel a little more torque. It's a lot more zippy, um, and that's really going to be just because of the weight. And um, so I'm happy with it. So we got <coughs> less weight, which means we can carry two more people with the same performance. And we have 35 more amps, so it's like having a bigger fuel tank. So we're going to run a lot longer. So, uh, man, my next step is throw my solar panel on this bad boy and see if I don't ever have to plug it back in. There I think go. we can do it. After we did all of the tests uh, with the new battery and comparing the performance differences and stuff, um, realized that the golf cart had a flat tire. And guess what? A flat tire messes up the performance quite a bit apparently because the numbers didn't show a drastic change but once I fix the flat tire she goes fast whoa <laughs> it did make a difference all right guys so we have our battery upgrade our lithium and uh it's amazing so we saw some of the results where over 300 pounds lighter, that's amazing. We have 35 more amps, so longer run times. And we've connected to the Bluetooth app on here, which is really great because we can see exactly what's going on with the battery at all times. Um, you can see I plugged it into the charger and we had a up to 19 and a half amps roughly going into it. Um, when I took off from just a dead stop, just regular takeoff, we hit 70 amps and then averaged out to about 50. I got in some dirt and did the same full speed takeoff. Um, and my cart doesn't have a limiter, so just full blast, wherever you give, it's going to take. And we hit 110 amp draw, so that was good to know. Still well within the realms of the battery's uh, capabilities. Um, so now, the next obvious upgrade is to go ahead and throw my solar panel on the roof. I have 36 volt, um, I think it's 400 watt solar panel. I'm going to put up there I've been hanging on to and to put a bank manager on there obviously we have this nice battery a nice setup we want to protect it and really that's the only way to do it I've used one of those in um, an electric boat we converted to lithium and it worked out really well so we're definitely going to put one of those on here we'll put a, a link in the description below so make sure you check that out and man really happy with this battery definitely brings new life to this old cart and I'm looking forward to uh, a lot of runs around the neighborhood and the kids chasing the dog. All right, guys, that's our review. It's good. I think it's uh, it's a lot of fun and well worth the uh, the money to upgrade to a lithium on on a golf cart. 
Uh, plus, the battery's going to last a lot longer. And, Dave, you don't have to do any maintenance on this. Dave battery. does all our maintenance. So he's one of always checking the water in our batteries and fixing all my boats and all that stuff. So yeah. now Dave has one less thing to do. Exactly. But you'll find something for me to do. Yeah. Well, we're signing out. Good to go. Thanks. Thanks.